Welcome back guys. As you can see we're starting our week at probably one of the most tropical places I think we've ever been it is awesome. in our life. <laughs> it is a full coconut plantation. Photographer's dream. Yeah it is part of a bigger resort at the end of the road but you're able to come here and take your photos and videos yep. so it's just They'll awesome. allow you to do that so that's pretty cool. Yeah. This week's vlog is going to be awesome. We're heading to the Bloomfield off-road track and it takes us through the Daintree rainforest mm -hmm. and out to Cooktown so we've got a fun packed vlog I reckon. Yeah absolutely. Let's get started. What a legend that bloke is, eh? Guys, whenever there's a barge involved, it's going to be a good bloody trip. <laughs> and then there's also a character on the barge, it's going to be an even better trip. He knew we went from here as well, and he goes, there's a crocodile over there. <laughs> we straight away looked and he started laughing, eh? <laughs> Classic. We're here, guys. So we enter into the Daintree Rainforest yep. National Park, and it brings us to Cape tribulation I think. There's stuff to see on the way though. I'm so keen. Flavors, eh? really? What's it taste like? <coughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Try to be adventurous. We uh we fell victim to the ice cream factory here in the Dane Tree. Jack went with the exotic flavors, and I just went with like a normal chocolate, chocolate one. one. I think I need to pull over and eat this. <laughs> but yeah, it's got four in one. So I know there's mango and chocolate in that. Yeah, it's obvious which one that is. Mango. No, there was no chocolate one. Oh, but mango. That's good. why I didn't get it. And uh, what's this one? It's probably melting on the dash there. That's chocolate. Oh, is it? No, it's not actually. They have some odd flavours, eh? It's <laughs> I good want to try it. <laughs> I just didn't want a whole one. It said exotic flavours, so. <laughs> All I can taste is my wooden stick on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Yeah. All right. All right, you don't want to watch us eat yeah. this. <laughs> Classic. Let's go on to the next spot which there's just one road so we're just basically just following the road through. and just popping in everywhere we think might look cool like yeah. that lookout and everything looks very accessible so and there's yeah. lots of two-wheel drive cars here I, I think Jack we thought don't that we were, we're going for. completely remote straight away as yeah. soon as we got across the river but yeah I thought we're going off grid but <laughs> it's not yet I think that's more when we hit the bloom field yeah yeah all right let's eat the bloody ice cream mate. yeah
good campground, eh? Yeah, it's good. It's a bit, bit tight, of, though. Bit of a tight <laughs> squeeze. When I booked this one, it said that it would take like four to or, or two to six people or something. Definitely so not. You'd struggle getting six people. You would. On that, but uh, yeah. Noah's campground is where we are. Yeah. Um, um, and apparently, I think we are right that way. on the beach. We're going to check out. The and beach. it's supposed to be a really good one. Yeah, beach so, is probably like what, fifty meters away. Yeah, and, and if uh, it's. Uh, Anything like that one that we visited today with that island oh, it was amazing. on the horizon, that was so cool. We so, didn't even know that existed. Yeah, we were just driving wicked. along and we are like, oh, pull in there, I just saw something hell cool in the <laughs> ocean. <laughs> and it turned out awesome. So, apparently this beach is amazing. I've been recommended it by so many people. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, see what it's gonna provide. Well, we made it down and it is like a scene out of Jurassic, it's like Jurassic Park, eh? It's like we're in Jurassic Park. And you got all these black rocks just here. And you got the tropical plants growing up, tropical plants growing up there. And then over there, the mountains are just spectacular, eh? And the looming deadly animals as well makes it like- You got the stingers and the crocodiles. Jurassic Park. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it in the background, but have a look at it. I don't think there's gonna be much of a sun, uh, sunset, eh? Yeah, it's setting over there right yeah. now. So like, sun um, setting over there. I think we'll be in for a good sunrise yeah. in the morning though. Too many clouds tonight. Yeah. So it might not be that good. But um, you can definitely see why people say this beach is amazing. We're gonna enjoy a nice walk and we'll see you in the morning. See you later. Okay, wow, if you are camping at Noah's Beach, um, you have to get yourself out for sunrise because 100%. that was amazing. That Probably was one of the best that we've seen in a really long time. We so. had a 10, 15 minute time frame there before it, like, it came over the ocean and then there was clouds 10 minutes above it. So we uh, we, it, we got lucky, yeah, we got up but the Yeah, but it right was time. the most incredible orange color. I hope that it comes out on video because- It was amazing, oh my God. Anyway, we're off nice and early today because yep. we've got quite a bit of driving today we are on our way to we're on our way to Cape Tribulation but I think there's quite a few little swimming holes and things yep. to see on the way so we'll see how we go and then oh. we are Whoa! <laughs> that's a that's that a common occurrence scared the in crap out of me. stuff drops from the, the top console <laughs> anyway we are doing uh, the Bloomfield track today um, it was raining like all last night, so hopefully it's not too sketchy. Yeah, I don't know what the roads are completely like. completely mixed reviews. Some people say it's like full on and then others are like, nah, it's easy as, so we'll see how we go. Um, but no. Nah. And uh, shout out to old Jimmy at the campground there. He gave us a box of food and gave us some honey. Yeah. So you're Very a bloody legend, mate. Absolute legend. And then we had another couple come up to us and say, do you guys, you guys have that YouTube channel? <laughs> <laughs> so we're meeting heaps of people, it's brilliant. Um, but yeah, we're heading for the Bloomfield and we're uh, we're keen to see what it's got yeah. to offer. It doesn't look like it's going to be raining at all today. It's no. really blue skies it now. It's literally so. rained for five or six hours last night. Yeah, and so kind of lucky that it happened last night and not right now. So yeah. but maybe anyway. I will go swimming after all. With the crocodiles? No, in the <laughs> water hole. Alright guys, we're down here on Cape Tribulation Beach and it is just amazing, Cape. It is 
It's paradise. paradise. It's literally paradise. I just can't get over the fact that we're on a beach with no wind. Yeah, it's amazing. But uh, it's just like you walk down here and we're just so humbled and so thankful that we are able to do this. Um, if you're planning on doing this, just hang in there. There's going to be obstacles on the way, but you will eventually get there. And honestly, it is just completely worth it. Eh? Mm -hmm. It is amazing. So we've got goosebumps even talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so Cape Tribulation is an absolute banger as well. Mm -hmm. Now we're off to the bloom film track, eh? Oh, yeah. we've got some water holes on the way. Maybe. I know we passed one and then I was like, oh, whoops, we just passed it. Uh, but hopefully there's <laughs> another one. <laughs> I'm sure there's more. I had a crocodile sighting area, so that'll yeah. be cool. But yes, it is amazing, guys. Holy crap, this is a huge incline. This is the biggest one we've done. It said to go in low range, but it's bitumen, so I should have unlocked the hubs and put it in low range gear, but I just went up in two wheel drive, high range. That is a giant hill, eh? You can really feel it. But lucky there's bitumen here, we'll be fine. It's just the first gear 20 kilometers for the old trophy. How's this for a campground? What a ripper. There's so much room. Smash the Bloomfield track. It, it wasn't that hard in the end. Um, it was only the inclines and the de declines that were massive and you need low range and all that. But uh, we saw Rav4s going through there and Truby smashed it and it uh, was all good. It was wicked scenery. The scenery was good, eh? At the, on the Bloomfield. I was still no crocodiles though. No crocodiles yet. Spotted anyway. Um, they, but they're there, well, but we haven't seen them. I guess the national park's done. The Bloomfield tracks done. Cape Tribulations done. There were some big ones for me. Yeah. Um, that there were some big ones for me. I was waiting to get to those places, and finally, it's ticked off again. <laughs> um, lunchtime, eh? Yeah, we finally remembered <laughs> to put lunch in the travel buddy while we were driving, but I don't think <laughs> it's quite there yet. Oh, it's actually off. Ah. Oh. Uh, the timer's turned off. Oh, you silly duffer. Oh, no. How long has that been? Wait. It's not working. Oh, it's not working. Oh, I must have knocked the wire. I know exactly what I've done. It's still hot, It's though. still hot, eh? Yeah. All right, I'm going to turn the travel buddy back on. <laughs> We got all fueled up this morning for what we thought was going to be a day of adventure, but <laughs> it turns out we've just gotten completely Whoa. lost completely in a national lost. park. Uh, yeah. We're looking for a waterfall and uh, we drove like 20k inland 
and it's turned into this rough as track with rocks everywhere we've had to put in low range and we just can't find it we forgot to put it on maps and <laughs> yeah i just figured it would be like well signed because i'm pretty sure i found it on the tourism website so yeah it's weird yeah but and i mean like we've been going on and on about how difficult well, the bloomfield track was going to be and this random track is, is like <laughs> so much more difficult but uh we've decided to go back just in case something happens to the car we don't want to be stuck in the middle of nowhere yeah so we we, we drove 20 k's in basically and we made the decision to uh turn around <laughs> so we're heading to cooktown now yeah and uh we'll see how we go eh well what are we doing in cooktown not much eh? i don't even know what we're just gonna go for a, a look around i guess yeah we'll go suss out cooktown soak up some history And we had to stop at the bakery, got a pizza scroll. What did you get? I got... What do you even call that? I don't that? know, something with jam and cream. I felt like something sweet. I can't see anything. Uh, neither but can I. Anyway. Maybe be careful. Um, we've got our bakery scrolls and <laughs> we're going to go check out Cooktown because there's a bit of history here and it looks packed, eh? Yeah, we've come during a, some sort of festival yep. that's happening right now. It and is so busy. A lot of people. We actually had to book our caravan park like two weeks in advance and yep. usually we don't plan anything in advance, so. Nah. But uh, let's go see what Cooktown's got, eh? Yeah. Right. Busy, eh? Yeah. Far out. Usually when we see crowds like that, we'll just avoid it like the plague, but I'm really happy that we actually yeah. got out and it's pretty had a funny Because we're walking down and you can hear all the old older people that everybody knows everyone. Yeah. <laughs> hey Tony, hey Jeff, it was hilarious. But uh yeah, so it's a little community here. There's heaps of history here as well. Captain Cook, 1770 he came here, so it was all pretty interesting, and then you got those tanks, pretty cool to see. Um, that big tank weighs 44 tons. Crazy. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, so it's a big accomplishment for us to be here. We've done 35,000 kilometers traveling now in the Troopy. Um, it's a pretty big accomplishment, yeah, eh? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so it's a pretty big deal for us to be here. Very uh, proud of ourselves. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's going to wrap the video up, guys. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe because it helps us out greatly. And uh, we'll see you next week. We'll see you then. We are heading off grid i think it must be off grid. kind of off grid we don't know what we're in for this is so whoa cool. i just looked at it <laughs> holy crap oh my god i know that's my thumb down holy crap and you can feel the heat yep it's already. getting hot jumpers are going to come off soon yeah. Tan tans are coming <laughs> bit of a uh <laughs> what do we even do right now i don't know